Hi Leslie, quick explainer video just to let you know how to make some changes to the new page that you'll be working on, the French edition page. So I've just loaded up page editor, um, the visual composer page editor, and you'll, when you load it up it'll look like this. So this is what's known as a parallax background, this big picture here. And if you want to edit it, uh, replace it with another picture for example, you just click on edit row and go to the parallax area and you'll see that's the picture that we've used. You can click on the little X here, which you can't really see very well, but there's a little X there in the middle of the picture. Click on that, then click on the plus to add a new photo, and then click on Save Changes. So moving down the page, just to you can edit any of the text items that we've added here. So this is like a heading. So you just click on the little pencil icon. Whenever you see the pencil, it means edit. So you only want to be editing really the ones that are in green. The yellow ones are columns and the row is in blue, so try not to fiddle around with the row and columns if you can avoid it. Um, here's the custom heading, so you just click on the pencil and you can type in your text there. When you're finished, click save. Likewise with this text block, you click on the little pencil, type in your changes, click on save changes and close the little box. And then we've got these three placeholders. So you click on the little pencil, click on the plus, find an image that you want to use. Let's just imagine you want to use that one. Set image. And you'll see that that will appear here. And close. Uh, we've already set the sizes, so you don't need to worry about that. If you want to change them, just click again on the pencil and I'll just change it back to blank so that it's back to normal. And you can just go ahead and, and use those two as much as you like. So again, text block here, another pet picture here. If you want to add additional rows, you can either click on the plus sign and add, add, add a row, or if you want to duplicate a row that's already laid out, which is quite nice and easy to do, you can, for example, hover over where it's got the row, you click on the duplicate, uh, the clone, icon which is that, that one and you'll see now there are there is another row below for you to use and so that's the quickest way of getting content blocks added if you want to add a, a row that's different to the one above click on the plus at the bottom first we'll add the row and then you'll see that you can change the here the columns the number of columns so you can have a set of two columns or a fatter column and a slightly narrower one, or three columns of equal width, etc. etc. So I'll just add the three if you like, date. And then once you've got the row added, you can just add the elements to that column. So you just click on the plus, click on text block for example, click on save, close, and there's the text block there. And that's it. Um, if you, when, you're, when you're finished and you're happy with it, you just click on the blue update button and that will save the, 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 the save it instantly. If you get stuck, let me know. Many thanks.